Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Princess Renny here and I hope you're doing well. On this channel we talk about Christian faith, lifestyle, as well as natural hair. And I'm super duper excited to give you guys another Christian faith based video. Today's video is something that's been on my heart for quite some time. And I guess I just didn't know how to bring it to you guys. I know the best way to present any of these um, type of videos is to just come to you guys and just say everything from the heart. Um, there's a lot that's been on my mind, so I hope you guys are patient with me. I don't know how long this video is going to be. don't know exactly um, what I might say. I have a few bullet points, but we're going to get right into it because it's a lot, okay? So, um, for the sake of not making this video super long, because it can be one of those, um, we're just going to get right into it. If you're new here, um, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like these kind of videos. Um, make sure you click on the bell button so you're always notified whenever I post a new video. I speak really fast, by the way, so if y'all need me to slow down, comment slow down in the description, in the comments below so I can get my life together. Um, but one of the videos that I wanted to record is I'm Christian and I'm going through seasonal changes like there's changes in my life and to be honest um, I'm impartial there's some changes that I'm not really a fan of and some changes that I'm like okay it is what it is um I feel like in this season I have the word um move as part of my season both literally and um I think supernaturally like there's a move there's a shift there's something going on in my life that um whether I'm trying to figure out when is the time to move or if I should be moving right now like all that stuff I just hear the words move and um, I know like there's a season like right now I'm literally moving but then there's a change in regards to like my personal life my faith like everything is just saying I need to be moving I need to be moving and it's a matter of which ones should I be moving right now and so a scripture that um came was laid upon my heart is Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 you can read from 1 all the way to 8 to get a better understanding of this scripture but I'll just read one so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about so um, I'm reading the King James Version. It says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heavens. So this scripture for me is letting me know that there's a time and a season for literally everything in your life. And um, you can't stay in one place and expect to be in that same place for the entire course of your life. So um, something that's resonated with me, I believe it was sometime last week or maybe two weeks ago. Um, I met, no, it was definitely two weeks ago. I met someone, um, that's been living on my block for a while. And it just so happened that I was outside and I was recording some TikTok videos, like some dances and stuff. And we just ended up like crossing paths. We started talking, we exchanged numbers and, um, social medias. And then we ended up meeting for brunch and it was like such an amazing conversation. Like I know that God uh, predestined for us to meet in the time that we met. Um, I want to say that if I had met her before, I probably wouldn't have been as receptive of uh, what she had to say. The conversation probably wouldn't have been as fruitful or I would have been too busy to even meet up with her. So I'm grateful that I met this person in the time that I met them as I'm going through these moves and these changes because uh, there's a lot that I'm still listening to God about. And um, it was a really good conversation. She's also a Christian. Um, she's also in social media, but she's also in tech and doing a few other things. I'm really excited that I've met you, Ivy. Like you are an amazing person. So if you're watching this, thank you, thank you, thank you um, for allowing the Holy Spirit to lead you. Um, so as I say all of that, I wanna say, a little before I met her, or a little before we were, um, a little before we went out for our brunch and we had our conversation, um, I just remember myself being in the shower, <laughs> so random, and um, just thinking. Like, I was just letting the water run and I was just like in my feelings. Like, that's my private alone time with God, um, one of the times. And I really love that because it's just the water's running and I'm silent and I'm still. And God brought to my remembrance 
how I was a year ago and even two years ago and even three years ago, what is that, 2019, um, where I was during that same time of the year. And every single time, it's been a roller coaster of emotions. So I remember in 2019, around that same time, I was preparing to move out and into my very own apartment. And it was so scary because I had um, family members that were totally against it and they made it very clear and made it seem like I was committing like the biggest sin to move out and I'm being like, you know, I'm West Indian, I'm moving out, I'm not married, I'm moving out completely on my own, not moving to live with a boyfriend or anything. And it's just like, well, why? Like, but why? You know, and so they didn't understand that and I had a lot of backlash, but the following year was like wow you moved out you're on your own you're doing the thing and like getting a lot more support um but i was also going through the loss of um my aunt like a year later i just reflected in 2020 that i had seen her over the summer and it was just such a beautiful um thing that i thought i was going to see her in uh the christmas season december of 2019 um, but unfortunately she passed in October of that same year. So I got to see her amazing But then Reflecting on a year later like this is a time that I was able to see her and I was able to spend time with her But like always wondering should I have stayed longer? Should I have gone back to see her even more? I was so convinced that I was gonna see her um, during the Christmas season of that year and so like it was a series of emotions in 2020 for me being that we were stuck at home in the pandemic um so also during that time i had also gone through like a, a breakup with one of my really close friends and just totally heartbroken um and just reflecting on like yo this is hard <laughs> and then july of 2021 um being in a season of like i'm unsure about what my next move is but i'm trusting god and every single season, I want to say, like, it's the summer. Something about the summer. It's like, I'm trusting God. Um, and even right now, in 2022, fast forward, like, I'm still trusting God. Like, I know I'm supposed to be moving figuratively, um, spiritually, emotionally. Like, everything physically, like, moving. But it's like, I'm not hearing the clear answers and it seems like there's a lot of voices and that's what happened in 2019 before I moved out it was a lot of opinions and a lot of people just speaking and um, it was important for me to take that step back and really think and reflect and listen to God's voice only to see what it is that he's telling me to do and one of the things I want to say transparently like I'm nervous about changes like I'm nervous about not knowing exactly what is next and I, I feel like i've talked about this so many times on my channel like i get really nervous about well okay this is what you're saying right this is where you want me to go right and then what <laughs> you know and then what like i i always want to know what's next after that and i'm reminded that yes i am pushing you to move but don't worry about that like, don't worry about what's next. Just trust me. Like, listen to my voice and hear what it is that I'm saying and just do. And so I find myself in this point again. But I'm, I'm in a place where I'm happier. I'm in a place where, you know what? If this is what you say to do, I'm going to do it because I know it's all going to work out. And I know that you are guiding me and you're leading me. And I just, I just need to be in this place of, like, trusting God. And I say all of that to say, like, maybe some of you guys are going through that right now where it's like, I'm not sure what's next. Like, I'm not sure if this new career change or this move is exactly what I envision. But I trust that whatever God envisioned is what's going to happen. And it'll all come together for my good. And as I'm trusting him in this season, no matter how nervous you might be, not nervous because... I'm afraid that it won't work out, but I'm nervous because it's a change. It's something that I might be uncomfortable with, but I have to trust that it's okay. It might be a shift to a smaller space. It might be a shift to put myself out there, right? And like 
start that business or make those connections or go to this new city and it's just like the whole world is seeing me on display but we have to understand that as Christians it's not about us oh I'm touching my microphone we have to understand that as Christians it's not about us it's about the Christ that we're displaying right and I'm nervous because I don't know what's next but I'm trusting him that he's already planned everything and the path for me whether it's a left turn a right turn going straight turning around wherever he says to go like I need to trust him that he's he knows it all and he is guiding me in the place that I should be going so that my life my life is purpose filled like I'm doing everything he's called me to do and you never know it might be a blessing to someone else it might be the exact thing that you have been asking him for but maybe you had to take a few turns along the way instead of that straight path towards where it is that you were trying to get to so in this season I'm trusting God with all these moves and all these changes I'm definitely gonna come together I'm gonna come to you guys most likely in a newer office yes I said that new office and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys this journey about moving I'm gonna reflect on moving out for the first time in 2019 um, and what that was like and the savings and all of that stuff um, I'm gonna talk about the progression through my career because I know I spoken to you guys in 2018 about like quitting my job and not really knowing what's next and where to go it's something about the summertime y'all I don't know I'm excited though because during the summertime the other change that I go through is like my birthday August 14 yes um it's coming up so all of those actual life changes along with this move so I'm Christian but not really a fan of changes but I know that there's a season for everything and I'm trusting God that he is guiding me and leading me to exactly where I need to go let this be a message to you that that voice that you hear the Holy Spirit is quickening you to do something that might be scary <laughs> you might be a little nervous but just just trust him and know that he is um, looking out for you he does everything well and he works everything together for your good so I hope this video was an encouragement to you if it was give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you guys on the next one be blessed spread love and stay beautiful inside and out bye guys Changes. It's crazy.